hypest set of all time. I was really? like, what is going on over here? <laughs> Steve! Oh my god! From what I heard, he's upstate. But Apollo and like, Pikachu. Mr. L and Jen? Mr. L and Jen. Mm. Mr. L is perfect on Jen. But I was talking to him before this. You know, it's, a it's not a good matchup. But I was talking to him before this. He's not so confident about it. Jen, right? Yeah. He doesn't it's really like hard. Pikachu as a character. Plus, is like, Apollo loses his matchup. Yeah, most certainly. For sure. It's going to be interesting. I, I think... If I would if I would have bet on it, I'd say Mr. L takes it here. Just we're talking like set count. He's, yeah, he's perfect. On it. He can't be I don't know the exact numbers, but I do know for a fact Mr. L is absolutely positive on Gen. Yeah. Whenever they played at Kingdom, I'm not sure if they ever did Fusion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that Encore, but all of the sets that those two individuals actually played, Mr. L would just win majority of the time. Yeah. And I know Gen will sometimes talk about Pikachu as a character. It's like, you know, like, it's really hard hitting him. Yeah. Palatina doesn't have that many answers, but I feel like the best answer that she can consistently do is catching Pikachu's landing with dash attack, and you want to yeah. threaten it with up air and stuff like that. As a Palo player myself, right. this, this is definitely, like, no one's going to tell you this is an easy <laughs> matchup. I'll say that. <laughs> like, there's not much you can do if he stays grounded, especially. And that's what that's what a good Pika would do in this matchup. They run it, they throw the Teejol, and then they can run him. You really have to play around Teejol, like, jump around it, roll through it sometimes. You have to mix up what you do. What makes but Mr. Oh, go ahead. It is just, by all definitions, a bad matchup. Yeah. What makes Mr. L so different than the other Pikachus that a lot of people would normally play is that he mixes up his aerials when it comes to him being in, in, in his advantage state. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like most Pikachus, that they'll just go for like them better about a double fares or some type of double aerial that Pikachu can do. And Mr. L just mix it up because in a high level, he understands that you want to hold shield because you're threatened by Pikachu's frame data. Mm -hmm. So he will just mix it up here and there like, I'm going to throw one aerial, but I'm going to just land a tomahawk you or something like that yeah. and his edge guards are very consistent too because he'll make you think well i'm not gonna press any button because i don't want to look like i'm panicking but he'll sense that out of you and like well all right i'm just do whatever i want then exactly. and that's when the rock paper scissors game starts coming into play so i'm curious to see if jen's gonna actually react fast enough for today and catch on to mr l's advantage state and see if jen can actually polish some pikachu combos mm -hmm. Yeah, I also think one of Miss. I will say, so I think a lot of the reason that Mr. L does good read, uh, a lot of the reason Mr. L does so well against Jen is he plays um, Hydra a lot. You know, they're both Wi-Fi players. It's, yeah, I'm pretty right. sure they're really good friends. And then Jen, on the other hand, there are no Pikas in New York. <laughs> You're right. There are they used, I miss the old classic ones, though. They used to be my favorite homeboy, Ki uh, Kiyarashi, and then there was Mouse Rat. Mouse he Rat, actually yeah, came yeah. to the, the latest Zeno. Mouse I was, oh, yeah, 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 I saw him in the I saw actually. the top eight of Xeno and I was like, Mouse Rat, where were you at? Because <laughs> yeah, I think Rat. he was considered like best in New York City. But then really? Pikachu just died. They, yeah. they just don't exist anymore. And I feel like it's because of the, the amount of consistency that Pikachu actually has to take, which I don't ever, like that's my main reason why I don't get pissed off when I'm fighting a Pikachu. Because it's like, if they're rare to come. Yeah. And especially at a high level, I feel kind of honored to find a Mr. L. I'm not even going to hold you. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, mm. good air dodge. Good reaction for Mr. Oh, L, not recovery. falling for that, but oh, a better punish. Yeah, I think L's uh, quick attacks are very good as well. He uses quick attack in a way Pikachu's don't typically use it. He'll use it like I saw early in the set. Like, um, he went to counter the uh, counter because he, he thought he was going to uh, thunder him through the stage. Yeah. Um, and he didn't, so he wait, he countered. And most Pikachus would just recover the ledge there, and then, but he, he quick attacked into him and was able to combo off him. What also it's makes Mr. L so, like, so sufficient is that um, I was actually talking, like, when, whenever me and him did friendlies, like, a while ago, mm -hmm. I would just SDI out of, like, the Pikachu Nair combos. Like, you know how he has the Nair loops and everything? Yeah. So he would get surprised, and he's like, oh, like, you can just get out of that. But he'll mix it up saying, like, I can either do Nair loops, or if he catches on to your DI, he'll just do a lot of up airs. And then back to what you were saying is that he's really good with the thunder reads. Yeah. He's like, well, are you going to air dodge? Or are you going to press a button? I'm just going to react accordingly, which makes Pikachu very dangerous when it comes to his advantage. Oh, misses the back here, unfortunate for yeah. Jen. I accidentally pull off when he messes for half. Unfortunate. So definitely, it's still anyone's game, but definitely L has the slightest lead right now. But I will say, oh, Ooh. that's going to be it. He's going to take game one. Oh, God. Dash attack being so good when you're on the when you're on the ground. Absolutely. It's so good for catching um, landings, too. Like, I look like... I think he just predicted like Jen doing some type of aerial, mm -hmm. but because Pikachu is so small, he just took full advantage. I'm, you're either gonna near 
Oh, he's just going to do some type of aggressive button in the air. And I'm going to just call it out with a dash attack. And I think an anti-air is too, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, yes. It is an insane move. And it's also, it's not safe, obviously. But it's not terribly unsafe. You're never going to punish it with like an up smash attack. Yeah, it's not like a crazy smash yeah. attack or something like that. Yeah. You have to put like, it's one of those moves that, because I know Jen, Jen had me laughing when he like consistently started playing this matchup. With, I think, um, it'll be Mr. L. And then, what's this Jersey Pikachu name? Um, Not Odyssey. He started with an O, but I forgot how to pronounce his tag. But he would play the, the Pikachu matchups, and he would just get annoyed by dash attack because he's trying to figure out a way how to consistently punish it. Yeah. Especially on shield, but I'm glad that you noticed that. It's like, no, it's a good move, but it's not unpunishable. Yeah. Like, it's, oh, it's absolutely, you can definitely shield grab it with any character. Yeah. Um, but Pikachu, you know, he's just a good character at the end of the day. And also, once you get to, like, that 150%, that's when grab starts killing. And that's when it's really scary because... It's, it's pretty hard to, to just guess what he, he's either going to dash attack or he's going to grab. And either one are going to kill you. Oh, yeah, but like when you're on 150%. Yeah. Then, yeah, that is, the, that is the most threatening part now that you mention it. Because Pikachu can play so many good neutral interactions, but he'll have a hard time killing. But once you reach that magical percent, that's when you got to start you know, being a little worried and be more on your toes and everything like yeah. that. You're either going to die by a landing dash attack, you're in the air, and you're you're gonna eventually panic when he's gonna do a thunder or kill you with the smallest upper and just like that calling out landing. the aggressive aerials right there with another dash attack yep yeah wow this character is insane i i will die that he's still the best i will die on the hill that he's still the best in the game yeah for sure i, I definitely agree with that 100 mm -hmm. mr l being i can't i can't think no other tri-state pikachu at all yeah but yeah, let's see. So now this is also where, this. where Pikachu is going to shine because he doesn't have to approach anymore. He can camp him with T-Jolts, and he's going to take so much from this loop right now. What I kind of want to see Jen do is that whenever he – because Jen is known to be very consistent with his ledge trapping and edge guarding. Yeah. But I want to see Jen oh, – there wow, we go. Was I was about to say – I was about to mention something like that because every time Mr. L recovers, he would, like, throw some type of quick attack a little over it, but he will somehow go back to the ledge. Trying to make you on your toes, whether he's going to go for, uh, for center stage or back to the ledge. But in this game, you kind of want to hold down center as Palu and keep your opponent on the ledge. So I want to see Jen like, try to call out a quick attack with like a, a lingering hitbox like Nair or like yeah. a perfectly timed back hit because it forces Mr. L to kind of like respect his own recovery. Type. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, totally. I think this is this is not looking good for him. He just, he's like, he cannot get in. I don't think he's hit him for the last like 20 seconds realistically. Oh, dash another yeah. dash attack right there. How is Jen going to land? Yeah, we're going to go back to the ledge. And a nice quick oh, attack. Oh, he's going he's gonna to live. Jen having one more chance. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's good. So, Perfectly edge guarded by Mr. L right there. L with the full stock lead. Jen's really got a hill climb, and that's going to get punished. Oh, yeah. no. At no, this point, I feel again. like Jen is just trying to. He's, like a, he's looking a little like hasty with his punishes this time. Yeah. Like, I don't think he was happy with that edge guard, which nobody else would, mm -hmm. but it was really good for Mr. L utilizing how quick attack is supposed to really be used and stuff. Yeah. That's the thing with, like, in, the, in these types of matchups where Paulu's, Paulu's biggest problem is getting in, she really has to make her advantage count. And her advantage is, is her, is her yeah, best Yeah, it's suit. her best part but of her But sometimes you're so fixated on that that you, you swing too early, you know? You, you end up, like, you, you don't read air dodges anymore. You kind of just, like, I have to hit them, I have to hit them now. Yeah. Especially in a matchup like Pikachu, where Pikachu can just pancake majority of your combos and everything. Like Palu, I feel like most Palus, they get so comfortable. Yeah. Oh, what a read from Mr. L. Jen barely SDIing out of that down smash right there. Mm -hmm. And then that's going to be it. 2 0. And a yeah. 2 stock in the second game. Pretty good. That's very dominant overall. Very There's nice. not that many answers Jen possibly could have done. I feel like.